This is San Diego News Daily. Welcome to News Daily. I'm Jackie Crail. Let's get to some news for you. A Mission Hills neighborhood got a loud and destructive wake up call this morning when a car crashed into a home, bringing along a tree with it. That call came in just before 430 this morning near Hillcrest. 19 San Diego Fire Rescue personnel responded here so far throughout the morning and the driver was injured with minor injuries and then transported to the hospital for treatment. Investigators are telling us they do not think alcohol is a factor in this and no one was seriously injured. The owners of the home there at the time woke up to this. And that's not the only accident that happened overnight. We got this bizarre video of a blue Honda Pilot that was also crashed into a building. This happened near Palm City area. Police officers did field sobriety tests on the driver and he was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence. Both the car and building do look damaged, but no one was seriously injured. Overnight, a shooting in the gas lamp near 7th and E happened. Police say this was around 2.30 a.m. There was a heavy police response. One woman was treated for an injury to her shoulder. Police did not say if they're looking for a suspect at this time. In the Mount Helix neighborhood, one woman is found dead after a fire tore through a home and into nearby vegetation. Investigators say when crews arrived, they saw a lot of smoke coming from the house. The fire quickly spread to nearby land, was put out after burning a quarter acre. Investigators then found a woman's body in the home. They're working to identify her and the cause of her death. The damage and the death is creating new concerns among neighbors. It is a tinderbox. There's all these little valleys in between the homes and everything. Um, like you'll notice some of the some of the yards, you know, you take down to the dirt and you take care of your brush. But there's a lot of areas in between the houses that are completely overgrown. It's just another reminder of how serious fire safety is here in San Diego. Obviously, this a layered tragedy. The investigation into that fire continues. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department bomb arson unit is leading the effort. San Diego Pride officially here. The week of festivities kicked off yesterday with an event called She Fest. NBC 7's Dana Williams went to see what it was all about and why this year they say it's more important than ever to create a safe space. Organizers say She Fest is growing by the year, and even though it's not as big as the big parade that's happening in the same spot on the 15th, the message is still the same. Oh, ain't no need to be ashamed, but if you want someone. While she may have been on stage today, but girl, you better go now, I said, overcoming shame, we're celebrating who we are and uh, just reminding ourselves and the world that we're here and we matter. There was a time not too long ago, Flamey Grant never would have imagined herself here. No, I don't think I learned the word gay until I was probably in middle school. She grew up in a community that wasn't accepting. I could never have imagined as a kid growing up uh, in church, in youth group, <laughs> at a Christian school, that there was a place where I would be embraced and celebrated for my full self. Which is why events like SheFest are so important. You this is what? the place to be during Pride, Pride Weekend, well, pre-Pride Weekend. Organizers say thousands of people were expected to attend SheFest, some as first-timers. You know, some people for the first time ever in their lives, they're able to come to a space and feel free just to be themselves or, you know, be with their loved one. Ariana Ledesma heard about the event for the first time a couple of months ago and decided she had to volunteer. There is like a little bit more of a wait. That's because, she says, the community has had a difficult year with a significant number of anti-LGBTQ plus laws being introduced around the country. It could just get so, just a lot, a lot of that in your ears and on your media and stuff. It, turned into a lot, so it's good to have at least, you know, one day here. So while SheFest may have vendors and food trucks, it's the community. I walked up today and I was like, I'm in the right place. I know where I am. I'm in the right place. <laughs> that really makes it. If you feel ashamed of who you are, or you're made to feel ashamed of who you are, then yeah, you're going to have a hard time being yourself in the world, acclimating to the world around you. So I hope that seeing a, a crazy drag queen with big hair singing spiritual songs gives that kind of hope to some kid. Dana Williams, NBC7. 
And meteorologist Francella Perez will have a look at your weather right after this. Only one team in San Diego is certified most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan ahead with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And knowing exactly when rain will move in. First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's going to be another beautiful day in the neighborhood with morning clouds giving way to sunshine early on and mild temperatures. So we've been enjoying some mild temperatures the last few days and that's going to be changing. So don't get used to that because by Monday and Tuesday, high pressure is going to build over the area and we're going to have a significant and prolonged heat wave. We'll talk about that in just a bit. In the meantime, taking a look at our temperatures for today. Highs in Borrego right around 106, Julian 81, Pine Valley 85 degrees, for San Marcos 78, Vista 75, Encinitas 69, 70 for Del Mar, Carlsbad, as well as downtown San Diego, 71 for Chula Vista. Meantime, in the East County area, Santee, El Cajon 80 degrees. Again, enjoy because we have this ridge that's been trapping major heat over Texas and New Mexico. Well, it's going to retrograde and expand across the west so this dome is going to basically be stagnant it's going to sit there for quite some time bringing us that compressional heating and that's why the temperatures are going to soar into the 90s and triple digits we already have an excessive heat warning that's going to be in effect from tuesday morning until sunday at 8 p.m now this is going to be for the mountains and the deserts this is the worst of the heat expected for the deserts and mountains even the valleys though will be dealing with temperatures that will be in the 90s possibly flirting with triple digits as well. Coastal temperatures, well, check it out. In the low 70s, that's going to be the place to be along the coast because the influence of the marine layer and the onshore flow keeping the temperatures, even though they're going to warm up a bit, it's still going to be nice because for the valleys, Temperatures by Monday will be right around the 90s, increasing to the upper 90s by Friday. So very likely that we will be close to triple digits. If not, we'll be making it into those triple digits for some of the warmest spots in the valleys. The mountains from 80 to 95, 96 by next Sunday, and the deserts will have temperatures right around 110 to 118, possibly even record heat. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks, Francella. So San Diego Comic Con is back in less than two weeks. The three day event kicks off July 20th and heads up the MTS has you covered on getting there. Starting July 20th, they will be offering expanded service during the week long event, as well as expanded park and ride lots, offering free parking options. You can get your passes through the Pronto app. There's more coverage you can count on at NBC7.com and you can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thanks for watching, I'm Jackie Crea.